we will be creating a very simple ribbon banner. Let's get started by opening Illustrator and creating a new document. Use the rectangle tool to create a rectangle. Set the fill to none and the stroke to black. While the object we've created is still selected, hold Alt and Shift while dragging the object down to make an aligned copy. To make this second object more visible, I'm changing the stroke to red. Make this new object wider than the first rectangle. While this object is still selected, hold Alt while dragging it down to make a copy and hold shift to keep the copy aligned. I'm setting its stroke to light blue, make the height half the size of the red rectangle's height. Select the second and third object, make sure they are aligned to bottom, go to Pathfinder panel and select Unite. Using the direct selection tool, you can see that there are two new anchor points added to the rectangle. Select the center anchor points on the left side and the two corner anchor points on the right side and drag them to the right holding shift. Create a new rectangle. I'm changing its stroke color to green. Make its width smaller than the black object and the height higher than the red object. Select all the objects, go to the Align panel, and Horizontal Align to Center. Select the second and third object, go to Pathfinder panel, minus Front. Then go to Object Ungroup. Now select the black rectangle, which is the first one we drew, make a copy, and paste to Front. I'm going to color this copy blue. Make sure it's above all objects by right clicking and bring to front. Keep it selected and also select the red object to the left. Go to Pathfinder panel minus front. Control F to paste another rectangle to the front and repeat these steps with the red object on the right. I'm changing the stroke color to blue. Select the pen tool and create a triangle by drawing the points on the three existing anchor points. Select the triangle, go to the stroke panel, and change the stroke corners to round joints. Now that the joints align with the other objects, while the triangle is selected, go to the reflect tool and make a reflected copy of the triangle. Hold shift while dragging it to the right and position it. Now that the ribbon design is finished, I'm going to select all the objects, change the stroke to black, go to object group, select a two point width for the stroke, and change the stroke corners to round joints. Select the type tool to add text that you're going to position inside the ribbon. Select the ribbon design, make two copies because we can use this design as a base to create unique ribbons. Start by selecting the second ribbon group. Go to Object, Envelope Distort, Make with Warp. In the Warp Option dialog box, make sure the preview is selected. The style is currently set to Art. The bend percentage can be changed to bend the object up or down. The style can be changed to horizontal or vertical. In the distortion section, choose if you want the distortion to be horizontal, left or right, or vertical, up or down. I've selected the third ribbon. I'm going to Object, Envelope, Distort, Make with Warp. This time, I'm going to go through the style options. I've prepared these slides. Starting from the original object, I've selected all the different styles. 
so you can go through them and see all the styles that are available. On the third banner, I've selected the flag style. When satisfied, close the dialog box by pressing OK. The object is now segmented and adjustable by moving anchor points using the direct selection tool. When you are satisfied with the shape, go to Object Expand and the effect will no longer be editable. Select the pen tool and starting from the second ribbon, create a curved segment following the ribbon curve. Select Type on Path tool, position the pointer on the path and click to enter text. The path stroke or fill will automatically be removed. Repeat these steps to add text in the third ribbon. For the final step, use the ellipse tool to create a circle. Select the circle and use the type on path tool on close path to enter text. Move start and end brackets to set the beginning and the end of the type space on the path. To move text along the path, drag the center bracket along the path. To flip the direction of the text along the path, use the center bracket and move it up or down. We are done in this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.